Welcome back. Today I'm standing here with this 1987 Chevy. I think these were the R series. They switched to R and D for like four years and nobody knows what they are. At least I don't. Um, so if it was an 86 or back, it'd be a K. So it's a four wheel drive, 87 Chevy half ton pickup. Now this particular truck has a 305 and a turbo 400, which is kind of an uncommon combination, I would think. But it is factory. The RPO codes in the glove box, which I had to remove during this. Well, I guess it turns out I didn't have to remove during this. I did remove during this whole fiasco. Um, has the RPO code for a turbo 400 and a 305 in this half ton. Anyway, back to what I'm here for today. I am here to show you where the connector is to set timing on one of these engines. Pretty much everything on the internet is wrong. Um, so, kind of the way this goes, if I spend hours trying to figure something out and I can't find it on the internet, I'll usually make a video and show you where it is. This is one of those situations. This is really a one year only truck. This has the throttle body fuel injection, which was optional in 86 on a 305 only. Rather uncommon to see one of those, but 87 they put fuel injection on all of the trucks in the square body lineup. So it's really more or less a one year only type of deal. So if you have any engine in 87, you probably have throttle body fuel injection. There might have been some weird options where you could still get a carburetor, but as far as I know, 87 was fuel injected. Now, the issue comes in if you have to remove the distributor for any reason, which I did, and then you have to time the engine. In order to time one of these engines, you have to put it in base setting mode or timing set mode, or I can't remember what GM calls it. Anyway, you have to tell the computer that, hey, I'm gonna set the timing. Or actually what you end up doing is you disconnect the computer from the ignition system and it puts it in base timing. Now the issue that I had was finding where to disconnect that wire. It is a tan wire with a black tracer and literally everything I found said it is behind the distributor. It's not. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you where this connector is on an 87 TBI truck. Not sure about the 454s, but I believe the 305, 350 and probably 43 should all have this same setup. Got a big block, check here, it might be right, but I can't say that. So I have this thing all buttoned up and ready to go out. Little backstory here, this truck came in um, from a, this truck came in as a no start. Somebody had already pulled out the part shotgun and replaced the ignition coil, the ignition module, and I don't really know what else. but end of the day what it needed was the pickup coil in the distributor in order to change that you have to remove the distributor so after I removed the distributor I spent more time trying to find this connector than I did actually doing the job with so I'm gonna go ahead and show you where it is now everything says that it should be back here behind all the wires it's not so let's pull you back out here. Um, here's our brake master cylinder. Nice factory jack there. And down here next to the brake master cylinder, so this is on the driver's side of the truck, this connector right here, you've got a tan wire with a black tracer. You just pop that guy off. And when you disconnect that wire, it puts it into base timing. Now when you put it into base timing, you then go ahead and set the timing to zero degrees. So that's factory spec, that's what I'm gonna go with, that's what I'm gonna tell you, you should probably go with zero degrees advance with this disconnected. After you reconnect it, which I just did, you will have to clear the codes. Probably the quickest and easiest way to clear the codes on one of these is to pull a battery cable off for a couple minutes. So there you go. That's where that connector is actually at. I know I talked too much. Sometimes I do that. But anyway, 
Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you later.